Althorp is a sort of, I think, to me, a distillation of 500 years of one family's collecting. It's a house uh, which my family built in 1508, and the contents are now um, available, have been for the last few years, through Althorp Living History, which is a sort of a collection of some of the more popular pieces and some of the grander pieces, as well as the more everyday ones. A huge range, actually, that have been chosen by Theodore Alexander. Uh, we have 650 pieces that we have produced. The Washington chest is one of my favorites. Yeah. It's just such an easy, livable piece. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I use it, the original one has got my tennis gear in okay. at home. You're buying these pieces, you can use them and, and enjoy them. They're not museum pieces, they're just beautiful. The proceeds from Theodore Alexander, can you tell us about mm. what, how they help your family, your family Absolutely. business really? Yes. So what happens with the house? It's, uh, it's a big old thing. It's 90 rooms and uh, as I say, it's 500 years old. So it needs a lot doing to it. All the proceeds that come to me out of this venture get plowed straight back into the house. And I, I like to think that's a, a fair relationship because for five centuries the house has looked after the furniture and now the furniture's paying its dues. Because of the way Britain's been over the last 50, 60 years, a lot of families had to give up their houses. We're, mm -hmm one of the very few where it's still in private hands. And uh, that's down actually to my grandfather. There was a period in the middle of the last century where the income tax rate for him was 98%. Wow. Uh, but he kept it going, which is quite heroic, really. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a lot easier for me, and it's been a lot of fun. I've always loved history. It's what I majored in at university. And so to be surrounded by it has been a great privilege.